Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today I'm on Malik Dory in Project 1999. Here we are in Guck, actually in Guck, instead of actually telling you a story about Guck. Um, sorry about that uh, the other day, I wish I was recording when we were in here, but um, here we are again. And we have uh, two Shadow Knights, me and Shoki, a warrior, um, Cesar, I hope I'm saying this correct, uh, name correct. Uh, we have a Shaman and a Druid, as well as an Enchanter. So, we have a lot of DPS, and we have a lot of, um, a lot of support. And that's really what got us through this group. Now, I was in this group a long time yesterday, so I was here long enough to get two levels and a half. I uh, ended up uh, 21.5, I think is what level I was when I left, and I went to get spells, and I'll talk about that later. So, we ended up going between having one warrior, two Shadow Knights, three Shadow Knights, no warrior, then we had a time, a uh, short time, <laughs> thankfully, that we didn't have an enchanter. And when the enchanter was gone, let me tell you, it was hectic because the casters, the not the casters, were all casters pretty much. Uh, the healers were actually on double duty because the enchanter really was doing a great job just keeping everything where it needed to be. And uh, even whenever later on we had uh, me, I think it was an enchanter, a necromancer, and maybe another melee, we were still doing great. I, I really overall had a fun time last night, especially with all these guys and gals and anyone else that I may have grouped with. So we ended up... Um, like I said, it was changing out, but me and um, uh, me and the druid were there most of the night. And then I ended up moving over to Miss More for a little bit after I got my spells for level 22, level 29, and level 35, I think it is. And um, not really much action happening over there. So I ended up deciding that I was going to go do some soloing in over there. And by the time I got to over there, I was tired and I just decided to go ahead and camp. So right now I'm sitting on about 4K, which is what I need to get myself a knockative blade. And I'm going to say it incorrectly, the Artemis shield, I think is what it's called. And, um... Those are the two things that I really want to upgrade with next. I have um, two pieces of banded still on me. I have two slots that are completely empty, but the, sh the sword and shield is really something I want to spend the money on and maybe even give up my two-hander and fill those extra sp uh, spots. Maybe even invest in um, buying... Uh, giant war helms to get my coldane faction up and maybe even get some coldane armor that people are selling but again um not really worried about that so much uh just trying to get my guy leveled up and i think the next step is uh one hand and a shield for fear kiting because the two hander is nice i mean it's hitting for 50s and 60s i think here i'm still level 19 um, so once I get level 20, 21, I'm hitting much, much more than what I'm showing here, but it was, um, it, it's really a testament to, um, I, I don't know. I, I have, I have all crustacean armor except for the helmet and the hands and, um, I'm using a two hander versus, uh, a worm slayer and a green jade broadsword 
and I'm still holding taunt, but again, warriors don't really come into their own until later on. So I, I mean, really can't say anything about that. There was a warrior that we were grouped with that was stacked to the teeth that I grouped with later on in the night. Um, and he was able to pull taunt off of me for just a little bit, but not long enough for, to really even count so much. But, uh, I think the only one who ever held taunt off of me was the rogue that we had at, this is right as we were ending. And, um, I ended up going ahead and giving my, um, my spot to another shadow knight that uh was helping us he actually gave us reses on uh with his cleric and um uh, it really <laughs> I, he he deserved the spot and i was really like i said winding down for the night so uh, that's pretty much <laughs> what happened yesterday is that i got um got all my spells got everything and now i'm in um over there and I'm going to see what kind of experience it is with mobs near the, the pond. And if I can, I'm going to see if I can get a group in War Silk Woods uh, farming the, the giants there. So let me know what you guys want me to do. Uh, what you think is a good place for me to fear kite or even solo or even grouping i know there's a couple places that i could have gone last night uh at one point i was uh like i said getting my spells and i don't talk to trolls i don't deal with them so <laughs> i went ahead and went over to nariac to get my spells i was right next to soul a i could have gone there and tried to get a group um which I probably should have done because I remember Soul A being really, really good experience, but really, really a pain of his own uh, once you get into uh, the bartender and things like that, or the um, uh, the cleric uh, camp the for the ring for the epic, things like that. So, anyway. I'm going to probably do over there tonight, and if you're on, definitely check me out, because I'm going to go ahead and post this before I get on tonight. Thank you again so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. I hope you had a good time just watching. If you liked it, like it. If you have anything you want to tell me in the information below, let me know, and um, I hope you have a great, uh, great weekend as well. Talk to you later. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.